Welcome to Brain Date, the dating game show that silences the chattering monkeys, finds a stillness in the contestants' minds, and matches those two who stand alone together. I am the Gold Brain, and now it's time to meet the contestants. This week is actually National Skin Cancer Week. Brain Date is combined with Molescan, Australia's largest skin cancer group, to try and raise awareness of this terrible disease. Because there's no use going on a date if your brain's full of cancer. But without further ado, we'll meet the contestants for this week. On the blue brains, we have Tim. Um, you're studying journalism at the moment. That's correct, Gold Brain. And what do you think of it? It's something to do, isn't it? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting field, but um, we'll see where it takes me, you know? Maybe to Bruce 31 one day. <laughs> yeah. We have Wayne, who's all about boats, camping and fishing. Oh, is it beer, camping and fishing? <laughs> <laughs> boating, I'd say. Boating, oh, boating. kayaking. I've got an ocean kayak. So which goes faster, you on the kayak or the boat? Boat goes so fast that um, one, one day I did a U-turn and went straight over the side and the boat was in gear, idling, and I'm hanging on the side for dear life because I'm by myself in the middle of Orton Bay. So, And we have Andrew who's actually Mr. Incredible, and he's come on the show looking for Elastic Girl. That's it. <laughs> you work in Army Intelligence. No, I don't. I, I just um, help train them. I help train them now and again. I could tell you all about it, but I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and on the pink brains, we've got Nikki, and she's um, an amateur actress. What was the last thing you were in? Uh, the Full Monty, the musical. Did you have to Full Monty up? Or? <laughs> no, the women, <laughs> thank goodness the women didn't cut got to keep their clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> we have Zoe, budding rock god, loves all kind of music and plays in bands. Uh, at the moment I'm jamming with a, like a metal band, a bit like a Dave Grohl kind of Foo Fighter-y kind of sound, ACDC kind of sound. And what do you play? I uh, play bass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Naomi. You're absolutely dog crazy, so I hear. Yeah, I've got two big RSPCA bitters and um, yeah, we just have a lot of fun together. Big community of dog people at the dog park. It's normally a great place to pick up the dog park. <laughs> no. <laughs> not as not good a, as the brain date said, obviously. But <laughs> <laughs> Poo. All right. Yeah, you pick up a lot of poo. <laughs> the rules of Brain Date are very simple. First, we show the contestants a prompt, and after seeing or hearing the prompt, they write down the first thing that comes to mind. We then compare answers, and if two contestants gave the same answer, then they score a point. You can score more than one point with any one contestant in a round, and the two contestants who score the most points by the end of the show win, and we send them off on a fantastic date. Let's get into the first <laughs> question. First question, we're going to show the contestants three photos and they have to say which photo they think of when they think of a mole. And there of course we had mole as in small furry animal, we had mole as in the condition you get on your skin and we had mole as in secret agent or spy. Well, she does work under covers. <laughs> uh, Mole, did you think of Tim? Uh, B. Which was a spot mole, wasn't it? Yep. And Wayne, which one uh, did you think of? B. B. These actually aren't stooges because it's Sting Cancer Week. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew, which one did you go? Look, I went for the furry mole. Oh, the furry mole. Mm. Yeah because I've had enough of the other ones cut off me. Which one, number C, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I'm sure I, know, I'm sure I don't know what you mean there, Andrew. Yeah. So let's see Nikki. B, spot mole, because I've got lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we'll get the blue brains to check them out later on. <laughs> we'll see Zoe. Did you go with this common thread? I went A, uh, fairy mole. Naomi, which one did you go for? Fairy mole. So there we go, we've got two furry moles on the pink brains, and we've got one furry mole on the blue brains, and then we've got a little loving on skin moles. In this next question, we've got two health messages that we're gonna show the contestants, and they have to say which one they always adhere to. Safe sun or safe sex? Well, let's start with the pink brains this time. So, Nikki, which of those health messages do you think is most important? Oh, they're both important, but 
safe sun. Zoe, how about you? Which one did you think was most important? Safe sun too. I don't know what this says about. That's more we Naomi? We've got a hat trick. I find there's actually similarities between both of them. If you don't adhere to them, you're often left painful, red and itchy. <laughs> Tim, which uh, one do you think is the most important? Well, I've done safe sun, but I'd like to be known that I have had sex before, at least, just, <laughs> just so you're aware, yeah. okay? Wayne? Well, yeah, I've uh, gone the same way. I usually find when I'm practicing safe sex, I'm doing a bit of a slip, slop, slap anyway. <laughs> 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 so I adhere to both. Uh, Andrew? Well, I went for safe sun, but I am prepared to have sex in a safe. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Everybody seems to be adhering to the sun safe message. And we'll move on to question three. In this one, we're going to play the contestants three sounds, and they have to say which one reminds them of what they're like in the bedroom. <laughs> Start with the blue brains this time, and um, we'll go with Wayne. What kind of um, sound do you think most reflects what you're like in the bedroom? Uh, the tiger. Easy, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Andrew, how about you? Yeah, I went for the Tiger as well. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe Wayne and I can get together, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there'll be no fur left. <laughs> Tim, are you going to be another Tiger? No, I, I, I said, I, th I thought it was Dog. B, Dog. Like that. <laughs> not, sell, not really selling myself there. Yeah. Right? But, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not his name. You like the yeah. doggy style? That's fair enough. <laughs> there we go, yeah. <laughs> it was actually a pig. Was it? Number B, okay. yeah. yeah. For those are. of you who like it dirty. I uh, said number A, so I'm five. <laughs> the what? <laughs> <laughs> The sublime, or is that meant to be sublime? Definitely sublime. <laughs> Long beach, double, no size. To be the best, to be the size. All right, and Naomi, which one do you see yourself as? I growl. Did you know that lions can do it up to 20 times a day? Oh. <laughs> which is a pity because I just joined Rotary. <laughs> 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 we'll move on. So some good matching between Naomi and uh, Andrew and Wayne. Nikki, which one do you see yourself as in the bedroom? Uh, I roar. I am a Leo. Roar. So. Uh, there we go. Yeah. The Leo comes out. So again, another little love-in on that question. Yeah. Except for unfortunately Tim. Yeah. <laughs> it's that cat-dog divide, isn't it? <laughs> Been a lot of brain dating going on and we've got a number of people on three points. So we'll see if this final question in this round sorts them out a bit more. And we're going to play them a video. Zoe, what do you think would be the worst present out of those for you? A paper bag. A paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for the shopping, but not much else. <laughs> and Naomi? I thought he gave her a mouth gag. Nikki, which one uh, for you? Uh, I thought it might have been a mouth gag. I think this question reflects what people fear about themselves. <laughs> 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 well, we'll leave it at that. Oh, <laughs> well, we'll switch over to the blue brains. And which one do you think was the most offensive present? Oh, I thought uh, the mouth gag. The mouth gag. <laughs> That's a terrible present, isn't it? When they open the box and they expect a nice choker and you get a nasty rubber one. <laughs> <laughs> I think the paper bag's quite normal in my love life, but uh, the, mouth, <laughs> the mouth gag. Would be the most offensive. And we'll uh, have a look at Tim to round off the blue brains. I said math gag as well. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the fourth round. And Wayne and Nikki are scoring well, as are Andrew and Naomi. But we'll be back after the break for the beginning of the second round on Brain Date. <laughs> Really good advice for first date etiquette. Women always want to know what do I do, and my advice is always sleep with them on the first date because you mightn't get another chance. 